This video is sponsored by PureVPN. PureVPN is a VPN service which secures you from online hackers. It creates a secure internet connection. It can also avoid the third-party surveillance and your ISP's inspection. So online privacy is maintained. PureVPN has a huge global network. So I have added the link to their site in the description below. So check the description for more information. Hey guys, it's Vatsal here from VS Tech and in this video, I will be telling you how to get the Moto apps that are based on Android Oreo 8.0 which are ported from Moto X4 that recently received the Oreo update and thanks to the developers at XDA forums, they have ported out these apps to all other Moto smartphones. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the new apps includes Moto Display, Contacts, File Manager, Radio FM, Moto App Launcher, Moto Actions and the Moto Camera APK. And yes, the Moto Dialer and the Moto Gallery APK is not updated. Moto Gallery app is not updated because it is not supported on the newer Moto phones. And I have already made a video on how to get the Moto Gallery APK in every Moto smartphone. So I will leave the card for this video. Do watch it. Now the process is very simple. I will leave the link for these apps via the XDK forums and you can download them from there and it is completely virus free and it is safe to download. And all the new features and bugs are mentioned on that page only. Now I will just skip the process of the installation. And after installing all these apps, as you can see the items of some apps are now changed and they look new. File manager, contacts and FM radio app receive new icons. And now here are all the changes that, that the new apps got. The Moto Display app got new icon, notification dots on the Moto Display and in landscape mode which is available with custom launchers. Then the camera app got some bug fixes and a new design. Contacts app got new icon and new splash screen and a revamped UI. But sadly, it got installed as a new app, which is separate from the older app. File Manager app got new icon and UI improvements. Radio FM app also got new icon and revamped UI and also the theme support. Now the new motor launcher with notification dots and revamped UI is now available. But some widgets and wallpapers are not working on it. And also the Google feed screen from swiping left is also not working. And lastly, the Moto app. The Moto app also got updated with new icon, new UI, new features, but it is not working on any of the smartphone. If you are having a Moto smartphone launched in 2017, then you can give it a try and tell me in the comment section below that it worked or not. So that's it in this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and family members who own a Moto device and want the latest version of the Moto apps. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.